Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It is another beautiful day here in Washington State. It is, or rather it was, it is uh, Sunday evening. I don't know, I'm looking at my wrist, there's no watch on there. It is Sunday evening as I'm filming this, and uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, it's been a while since I've been on here. It's been like 36 days since I've uploaded. I was just looking at my, my YouTube studio and uh, realized it's been almost 40 days, uh, which is a new record. Uh, of not posting to the channel, so um, here I am, letting y'all know I'm alive and somewhat well. <laughs> yeah, I've been focusing on other things uh, in life. It's uh, why the channel sort of fell by the wayside, but uh, trying to pick the things back up now. Um, we're moving into fall, either even though the weather doesn't show it, but uh, we are moving into the fall season, so. I'm trying to get some, some good habits started, some new habits, good habits started now. Um, so hopefully I can I can keep them going through the, the fall and the winter and into spring. So yeah, I reached a point where I just, I realized I wasn't paying any attention to my mental health at all. And uh, that's not good. Uh, you, you, you gotta pay attention to your mental health just as much as your physical health, I, I think. Um, so yeah, uh, that fell by the wayside, and, and things just, it just doesn't go well. So uh, I've been focusing on that lately a lot, uh, focusing on, on trying to, like I said, start some better habits. So I have been able to get out a couple times to go fishing in the past month or so. Uh, went out once to my local lake, uh, that was a couple days ago, and uh, had some luck with bass. And... Uh, Went out a couple more times to a little river I know on the uh, other side of the water uh, on the Olympic Peninsula. Salmon are, are running up there right now. Uh, pink salmon, chump salmon, and cohos. Uh, couldn't manage to get my hands on any cohos, but it was still it was still good getting out and hiking and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. All right, I think that's pretty much all I've been up to, or all that I really want to talk about. Um, Let's move on to what I've been carrying for the past month. So, uh, we'll start out with the knife because that's the most interesting. I've been carrying pretty much two knives for the past month. And uh, those two knives are the Benchmade Bug Out in M4. Uh, with really, really handsome applied weapons tech scales. Um, still rocking the stock pocket clip, but that's that's fine with me. Uh, this thing is a beast. Um, I put it through its paces and it just keeps coming back for more. And I, I, The scales make the knife. The scales and the blade steel really, really take this to another level. Um, so I've been carrying this a lot. And I've also been carrying uh, a pair of three lightweight in CTS BD1N. Um, this, is, this is one of my favorite knives, um, lightweight knives I should say. Um, and you were rocking shorts a lot, especially during the summer. Um, this is just nice. Deep carry pocket clip on here from Lunch Northwest. And uh, some applied weapons tech scales. Best way to show you. Which are just handsome as hell. Gotta thank Erica ZDC for both of these, these knives. Uh, this one came to me as is, like built. And uh, this one came to me with stock scales. So I had to swap them out for some, some applied weapons tech scales. But... Yeah, got to give a shout out to Eric because EDC, thank you for sending me these all those all those many moons ago. So moving on from the knife, uh, I, I started carrying a notepad, field notes. Um, I think I got the three pack of the National Park series for like eleven bucks on Amazon, and uh, they're great little they're great little notebooks. Um, yeah, I've just been finding myself taking a lot of notes lately, so this is this is so this is awesome. Uh, it's the perfect size, fits right in your back pocket, and uh, yeah, keeps things nice and minimal. And to write with, I've got this little Olight O pen from uh, from Mike Hawk Hobbies sent this to me. Little bolt action pen there, yeah, buddy. Um, again, keeping things minimal and small. Still rocking this same old key bar junior. Um, this this vinyl or what sticker or whatever the hell it's made of is 
is so durable. It, it, it shares a pocket with a couple coins, like every day. A couple of coins, the other one is over there somewhere, but um, they're constantly knocking into each other. And this is probably the worst, the worst wear and tear that I've seen. It's just that right there. Other than that, this thing is just remarkably tough. Uh, I like the Junior. It's all I need. I, it's all I find I need. I don't have that many keys, so um, yeah, this is a uh, this is a crucial part of the EDC. Thank you to Hawk Hobbies uh, for that again. Next up, we get the flashlight that I've been carrying. This hasn't changed. This is still the Streamlight Micro Stream USB. Uh, USB rechargeable, which is awesome. Where's the USB port? There you go. This thing's starting to get its own little uh, patina on it. And uh, for $40, uh, it's a great flashlight. Two modes, high and low. Um, all I found I need. Has an awesome, like, double usable pocket clip. Normal pocket clip, and then you can, you can clip it to the brim of your hat, like such and use it as a headlamp, so it's it's really handy. Uh, again, for $40, you can't go wrong. All right, uh, next up is the watch. This hasn't changed, but might soon. Uh, that's this Casio fishing watch. It's got the temperature, date, time, moon phase. Um, it seems to work good, it's kept good time, uh, but I think I just wanna upgrade to something a little better, uh, like a G-Shock, proper G-Shock. Uh, so yeah, but this is this has been a good watch. All right, uh, let's see. Wallet is still the same. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous bifold from Kolos Leather, um, outfit out of Ukraine, and uh, you can see it's just it's getting a beautiful patina on it over time. It's just a really nice piece of leather, and uh, I can see it lasting a long time. Uh, I've just got to take care of it. So. Uh, Hawk Hobbies, again, um, killing it with all these EDC items, so uh, shout out to him for this. Phone, boring. Same phone, Galaxy A51. Uh, does what I need it to. And lastly uh, is a multi-tool I've been carrying. Um, I've somewhat retired the T4 um, from service just because I've been carrying um, the P2. The free P2. Oh, she's upside down. There you go. And uh, this is a this is a hell of a EDC multi tool right here. Um, it's got awesome one-handed action. Um, clicks into place with authority, and uh, it's just it's a well-made tool. I'm really impressed with this tool so far. I've been carrying it for over a month, every single day, utilizing the pocket clip. Uh, hasn't bent out yet, so that's that's nice. Um, but I found I get use out of it at least every day. Um, mostly the scissors, which are great scissors, same scissors as all the free series, and uh, these two drivers, the big flathead slash pry bar, and uh, the little uh, 3D Phillips. So yeah, love it. Can't say enough good things about it. I can openly recommend it at this point. So I think that's going to do it for this little video. I, I'm, I'm trying to keep it short and concise. Uh, just sort of bring you guys up to speed and show you what I've been carrying. Um, I want to give a quick shout out to Jake Bainbridge Bass Fishing. Uh, he recently became a father. Yeah, Jake, if you're watching this, congratulations, bud. Uh, sorry I've been sort of MIA from really everything uh, for the past uh, number of weeks. Just been just been focusing on some on some important things. So uh, yeah, have been pretty quiet on uh, on the socials. Been pretty quiet on Instagram. Um, actually haven't really been on there at all in the past couple weeks and it's been it's been a nice little break from it but uh, I'm gonna get back on there tonight and post a couple photos that I've been um, I've been toying with so uh, if you want to check those out uh, Instagram is the same as the channel name uh, evergreen EDC so yeah all right thanks for the continued support thanks for watching if you are watching uh, I can't really promise that things are gonna pick up significantly but they might pick up from what they've been um you know expect to see another video here in like another week um or so so yeah that's all i can say for that right now um all right guys i'll see you in the next one